A new era in the war against cancer has just begun. The FDA expert advisory panel has just unanimously recommended approval of the first ever living drug to fight leukemia. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez here now with how it turns out the patient's own immune system against the cancer. This is great. That's right. This is a really big deal. It's both a living drug and the first viable gene therapy. White blood cells from the patient are genetically transformed into living smart bombs that seek out and destroy the patient's own leukemia. Experts are calling this the first wave of a game changer in cancer therapy. Emily Whitehead looks like your typical 12-year-old girl now, but five years ago, she was dying of cancer. Seven-year-old Kashawn Lawhorn and 16-year-old Emma Collins were facing the same fate, all battling leukemia and having failed traditional treatments. Nothing worked. But then came a second chance, a game-changing experimental therapy that utilized their own body's immune systems to kill the cancer. We do have our counts back, and they look perfect. And now, thanks to a unanimous vote by an FDA expert advisory panel yesterday, these kids won't be the only ones to benefit. Ten years ago, I don't think anybody thought that you could productively use the immune system to fight cancer. Dr. Stephen Grupp conducted the clinical trial for this revolutionary treatment called CAR-T therapy. Now, in addition to chemotherapy, radiation, and surgery, this is the fourth thing, immunotherapy. In the lab, the patient's own immune T cells are genetically modified by a virus to recognize the patient's cancer. Then those custom-made white blood cells are given back to the patient. A single dose has brought long-term remissions in more than 82% of the most seriously ill patients treated. When they find something that they recognize, like the B cell leukemia, they kill that off. Better yet, some of the CAR T cells remember what the leukemia looks like to fight any recurrence. Can certainly uh, lead to at least five years of survival and, and we hope can lead to cures. Cures for thousands of children around the world, like Emily. Now I'm five years cancer free. Now, this CAR-T therapy can have serious side effects, but remember, the children who got it were literally on death's doorstep. It's effective mainly against leukemia and lymphoma, but researchers are working to also use it against so-called solid tumors like breast, colon, and lung. Now, they haven't come up with the cost of this yet, and it's likely going to be a couple of hundred sure. thousand dollars at least, but it saved their lives. And when people see this, they must say, how quickly can this be done? You know, 82%, that's pretty extraordinary of a cure rate. Isn't so it? the FDA should approve, it has approximately 90 days to make, do the final approval, after which it will be uh, sent out or uh, exposed through all several of the large children's hospitals. This is the first place it'll be done. Incredible hope, though, with yeah. this, right? Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Dr. Max, thank you. you